It's December and we're kicking off this month's five day weight loss series with a power walk party. No equipment needed, so let's go. All right, Killer Bees, let's go ahead and get moving and grooving. And that means that we are getting started, oh my gosh, with some arm circles and high knees. You guys, I'm gonna be completely honest with you. I have not moved basically at all today. So I'm a little bit stiff. I'm gonna take this a little bit gentle. Hey, welcome to the workout. I'm Paula B. I'm your best middle-aged fitness friend. And around here, we are all about making peace with your menopausal body by finding a healthy weight and moving in ways that feel like self-love. And you guys, you know what really feels like self-love? Doing the things that we do in order to lose weight. There are five things that we do every single day that make us say, oh, I didn't know that weight loss could be this easy. It's called the 5-0 method. Every single day we eat the right number of calories, which is not necessarily less than you've been eating. We drink the right amount of water, which is in ounces, half of your body weight in pounds. We get the right amount of sleep by going to bed at the same time every night and getting up at the same time every morning. We exercise moderately. It's not necessarily more than you've been doing before. And in fact, you can get away with a lot less than you think. Exercise doesn't drive weight loss. And the fifth thing, we manage our minds. Let's go ahead and do some arm crossers with booty kickers. We manage our minds every single day by finding our thoughts and deciding whether or not they're helpful. And you know what? Today's helpful thought is this workout is gonna be so much fun. <laughs> because you know what, when you think that, when you think that, how do you feel? This workout is gonna be so much fun. It feels exciting, right? That's how you know that it's a helpful thought. When you feel good, it's a good thought. When you feel lousy, it's a lousy thought. I mean that nicely, but boy, do we have a lot of those. So let's, let's get in the groove for some good thoughts, some good movement, and a walking party. I'm in love with this workout. We've got lots of great low impact movement, absolutely no jumping, absolutely no transitions to the ground. And when in doubt, we're gonna walk it out. <laughs> My favorite thing in the world. Lots of steps to be had today, which I would like you to make sure that you get the right amount of steps for you. Let's go ahead and do some welcome to my homes because welcome to my home. Welcome to Blossom, sleeping on her chair as she does. She's off camera, but my cat is sleeping in another chair. <laughs> that direction. So now everywhere around me, I've got sleeping animals today, but we are gonna party it up. Here's what it looks like. I've got the handy dandy gym boss set for one minute of walking and 30 seconds of other low impact cardio. Now I do have some lovely music for us today, but I'm gonna tell you right now, I'm not listening to music. <laughs> I added in afterwards. So there's a very, very strong likelihood that I'm gonna be off beat. Don't let that throw you off of your game. I want you to get the most perfect perfect workout, the most fun workout for you. Let's go ahead and get moving and grooving with some walking. with disco dancers. <laughs> We're pointing up to one direction and tapping our feet out in the other. We've got our John Travolta fingers going on with this one. This, I'm just gonna tell you right now, <laughs> we are going through some, some childhood memories today <laughs> with some of our exercises. Disco dancers reminds me so much of being a young girl in the 70s and wanting desperately to understand what disco music was. <laughs> And here we go back to walking. <laughs>
we go with windmill tap backs. Hands are wide, feet are wide. We're reaching our opposite hand towards our opposite foot. And no, of course I don't care if you actually touch your foot. I'm not touching mine either, <laughs> my friends. This is all about moving and grooving, having your core pulled in nice and tight. Yes, even while we're doing cardio moves, we're thinking about good form and we're moving in a way that feels good. Not just good right now, because sometimes that means we're pushing ourselves too hard. Here we go back with walking. jacks. Hands are doing jumping jacks, even though we're not jumping. <laughs> Feet are doing booty kickers. Oh my gosh, I feel that stretch on the front of my thigh. You guys, you know, no matter what we're doing, we're always moving, stretching, getting stronger, and getting our heart rate up. So much benefit from kind of small moves. And hey, did I mention that other than the walking, which of course does repeat, we're not repeating any of these exercises today. And here we come, back to walking. Turns. When your hands are up, your feet are down. <laughs> when your hands are down, your feet are up. I've got a mnemonic device for almost every set exercise we do, you guys, because I need, I've decided, or not decided, I've realized that I need that verbal to get my brain body connection going. Do you have a trick that you use when you know you're going into an exercise or did your body just know what to do? If my body knew what to do, it would, but my mouth needs to get involved too. Here we go with walking. Here we go with front kick 
clapper. It's gotta be careful how I say that, it's a tough one. We are kicking to the front while we are clapping our hands. Having your hands at shoulder height this whole time can really start to feel that work in your chest and in your back. This is what I'm talking about, my friends. Even though it's cardio, we're getting some body weight toning, making sure that your core is pulled in nice and tight. And when, we get, when it beeps again, oh yes, we're walking. with swooshing skiers. We're stepping back and out to the side a little bit while swooshing our hands, both on one side and then both on the other. I like to think about this as making like the infinity symbol, like a figure eight right in front of you with your hands. And for whatever reason, that helps my feet know what they're supposed to be doing, you guys. When it beeps again, you know we're going back to walking. How are you doing? How is your heart rate? Check in, make sure that we're not going too hard or too fast, but just right. reach across high and reach across low because you know what we're going to do? We're going to reach across high <laughs> and then we're going to reach across low. You guys, when in doubt, I will either give the exercise a completely ridiculous name or I will name it exactly what it looks like in my head. <laughs> This one was an absolute no-brainer. Making sure that you've got your core pulled in as we're reaching across, feeling that twist in your abs and obliques. It's a little bit of core work here while we're doing our cardio and walking. with rainbow jacks. Hands going up overhead like a rainbow. One knee coming up on one side and then up on the other. And it just occurred to me that these aren't really like jumping jacks at all. <laughs> like I probably should have called these rainbow knees or something, but at this point I've literally been calling them rainbow jacks since think since I've been on YouTube, which is like eight years. So I, I'm afraid to confuse myself if I start calling them something else. But they really are, like rainbow knees <laughs> and walking. <laughs>
And here we go with middle skips, which is just what it sounds like, except that we're not really jumping, but we're bringing our opposite hand and opposite knee up at the same time, a skill I did not develop until somewhere in like first or second grade. <laughs> I was graded on whether or not I could skip or gallop when I was in kindergarten. I could gallop. I don't know what that means now. I think it's just like one foot at a time rather than going back and forth between the feet. I have no idea. I think it's ironic that I actually am better at skipping now than I was then. I'm better at walking too. arm flappers, which is much more like a jumping jack move with your hands, but your lower body is actually doing a deadlift, making this one of my favorite exercises in the whole wide world because I love me some booty work. Thinking about your booty pushing back, your booty pulling forward. Yes, indeed. We are making your butt strong while we're doing cardio. You guys, this workout has it all and, and, oh my gosh, we've only got a couple more exercises when it beeps again. Of course, we're going back to walking. We are with toy soldiers, both hands up, reaching your opposite hand down towards your opposite kicking foot. No, of course you do not have to touch that foot. I'm not even touching like my knee or my shin. I'm kicking where I can kick. I've got my core pulled in, making sure my lower back isn't helping with this one at all, which can actually happen, weirdly, when you try and kick too high. As long as you're moving your hands and moving your feet, your hands up means your heart rate up. And honestly, moving at all means your heart rate's up. You're doing this perfectly. And here we go with walking. day breaks. So your hands are up overhead, making a rainbow overhead while we just got Robert Palmer steppers from side to side on the bottom half, you guys. This is a very musical kind of exercise because this one reminds me of that song Daybreak by Barry Manilow being a young kid sitting in the back of my Aunt Marty's very tiny car with all six of us, me and my two siblings and my three cousins singing along at full volume. Oh, 
which is still one of my favorite things in the whole wide world to do, you guys. We are bringing it back to walking, even though technically speaking, we are done. Oh, but we're not quite finished. I'm gonna still walk here, and in fact, I'm gonna walk back and forth as I do because I've worn, I've worn a nearly bald spot in the carpet right there where I always exercise. So I'm just gonna go ahead and kind of walk back and forth a little bit more while we're chatting, but I'm gonna tell you, ah, because we are done, we're not quite finished. I've got one final thing for us. A little bit tougher, and by a little bit, I actually mean a lot. It's a lot tougher than the rest of what we do because this, my friends, is balance work. That's the magic of me bringing this walking down to, like bringing my heart rate down. I wanna make sure that you are capable of doing this work, which means that you might wanna grab a chair or the wall or something nearby. When we practice balance work, my friends, it's never a test. What we're gonna be doing is something I'm calling starbirds, which means that we're gonna do some star balance and then we're gonna turn that star balance into a drinky bird. My left foot is doing all the, we're all the standing this time. So we're tipping to the side and then standing back up and from that up position, oh yes, we're coming straight down into a drinky bird, which is a single leg deadlift. Wherever you can get to that you can recover from on both of these. Yes, we're staying on one side for the whole interval, which means that you might wanna tap down, you might wanna hang on to something, you might wanna make this move teeny tiny. I am neither going over very far nor tipping forward very far. That was the first interval, back to walking, which I'm gonna take down another notch. <laughs> because I realized I was capable of that, but I would probably be capable of a little bit more tipping and balancing if my heart rate was a little bit lower. This is actually why we practice balance. You guys, you never know what you're gonna be in the middle of doing when you need your balance. I love to practice it after, well, after every workout, but really specifically after a cardio workout because there's a good likelihood that if you're going to need your balance, it's gonna be when you're out walking or when you're out doing something, when your heart rate is elevated. Knowing that you are capable of this, this kind of practice work for 30 seconds at a time in your living room can help you feel so confident in your abilities when you are out in the world. When it beeps again, we're gonna do those star birds <laughs> one more time, and that will be the last thing. I have no more tricks up my sleeves because I'm not wearing sleeves, and because this, my friends, here we go, star balance balance into a bird <laughs> of the drinky sort, not the, uh, you know, any other sorts of birds. <laughs> I don't know what made me think of that, but that's pretty funny, you guys. You guys, oh my gosh. This has been such a fun workout, right? Remember that helpful thought that we had at the beginning of it? Well, now, now we made it come true. This is what happens when we have a good thought. <sighs> we feel good, we have good actions, and we get good results, you guys. There it goes, finally turning it off. Let's go ahead and cool this down, my friends. Let me tell you in no uncertain terms, no matter what you are used to doing, this workout was enough for weight loss. In fact, no workout is enough for weight loss. And I mean that in the manner of, you don't actually even have to exercise to lose weight. There are five things that we do every day in the 5-0 method. And I've even got a video here that explains it in even more detail so that you can keep in mind that this is what we're doing. It's not just about the exercise. It's not even just about what you eat. It's about living a whole life consistently every day that feels like self-love and gets you where you want to go. Let's go ahead and open it up. Ah, that feels so good. And then we're going to close that up. Give yourself a hug and a pat on your sweaty back, my friends. Ah, oh, that felt so good today. It was just right. It was just enough. And it was just the beginning of five days of December. Yes, I'm singing now. <laughs> That's how good I feel. The endorphins, endorphins are kicking in. <laughs> We've got five days of fabulous workouts that are repeatable for the entire month of December to help you lose weight, get where you wanna go, and have a fabulous, fabulous life. My friends, ah, thank you so much for working out with me. Make sure you click that subscribe button, and I'll see you tomorrow.